Okay. Welcome to our irregularly scheduled EDIC meeting on Wednesday, November 3rd. Um, our sole purpose today is to continue our discussion of the vacant storefront ordinance language and process, communication with affected landlords, et cetera. That said, uh, I received a request, another one, from Councillor Derby saying he'd really love to bring this uh, in whatever form it's in to Ordinance Committee on the 17th, which is two weeks from today. So um, I think we get to decide whether we want to fast track a letter out to folks. Um, I wrote to Lindsay Mailer to ask about putting ordinance language on, or uh, not ordinance language, but putting a letter to folks on letterhead the city doesn't have letterhead itself, is her perspective. The mayor has her own. Each leadership um, group or department has their own. So we tend to use that of the planning department. Um, she's going to ask the mayor what she thinks, but right now I don't have an answer to that. Oh, someone is calling in. Uh, it's Gwen, Gwen, when you say that um, Salem is looking for whatever language we have, is that with the intent to pipeline it through their ordinance into city council procedure, or are they looking to just look it over? Are they I looking? Think you, I think they want to get going on, on the process of turning it into something that we can uh, administer in the city. Awesome. Good. Yeah. Um, his specific language is, let me know if you all have any supporting documents. Would love to introduce the empty storefront ordinance on the 17th. So do we do we have ordinance language drawn up yet? We have it quite quite drawn up. Who's who's joining us on the phone? Is that Cassie? That looks like Cassie's number, but she's muted. Yeah. I mean, I'll send her a text. Because I think Gwen, I, I don't think Salem would be concerned about this letter or the construction of this letter or the timing of it going out, I think he may just want to introduce the fact that this ordinance is cooking behind the scenes and here's some of what's been done so far and what it looks like and probably get some feedback and in case they all blow up and say, what are you nuts? We don't want to do this. Uh, yeah. He probably wants to just introduce it, the ordinance. To, to me, this letter is sort of um, work behind the scenes. PR, oh, okay. PR work, if you will. I, I I look at it more as a, like a working document we could use. You know, I have one little edit on it, but I I I, I think of it as more than just behind the scenes. Right, but I don't I don't think this letter, Josh, will be part of the ordinance. No, 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 no. It's it's just, but but it's more of a you know it because it's an introduction out to the to the people out there what we want to do. I, I guess that's that mean doesn't mean behind the scenes. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It's, not, it's not the ordinance. It's not the it's not the way it'll be officially written. But I, it's a notification. The letter is just due diligence on our part, so nobody could come and say, "Hey, you just, you're throwing this on us with no notice." I mean, we're going to hit every storefront owner that we know of with this letter, and that'll be that. And yeah, right. they they can't complain later that we foisted some ordinance on them. But I, I guess to your point, Josh, there's, there's no reason we're not trying to hide the letter. I just didn't want the finalization of this letter to hold up what Gwen's trying to get to Salem. Oh, okay. But if we, but if we can finalize the letter and or have it be a work in progress, there's no reason why we wouldn't include it in what the ordinance committee should see. I'm, we're not trying to hide the letter. Do we need to be a quorum to finalize the letter or can the four of us do it? I think we have five if Cassie's on. Yeah. How many strong are we now? Eight? Now yeah, we're eight. Okay. I mean, we're a quorum and we, yeah, if if that is in fact Cassie and she can weigh in, I think that we can do that. Um, it is Cassie. I recognize the number. Okay. It's a 617 number. Okay. Cassie, are you able to talk to us? Well, for some reason, may not be able to unmute from her phone. Uh, can the host unmute Cassie? Maybe that's the problem. Maybe call-ins have different rules. 
Currently, I can only ask her to unmute. Uh. Oh, she says help. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I wish I knew how to help. Yeah. <laughs> I think Chris is right. Uh, you may not see it there somewhere, Gwen, but the host can usually unmute. Yeah. She says, please send the Zoom link. You're in the Zoom. Zoom link. Let me just close that email. Let's see. I will respond to Cassie. I will send the link via email. I don't know if anyone wants to send it somewhere oh, else. Okay, that's great. My phone. Okay, okay. hold on. I'll, I'll, she, I will send her the link by phone. Just a sec. <laughs> um, so what we could do, we can do a number of things. We could decide that we're comfortable with this letter and make a plan to distribute it. We could decide that we're comfortable with this letter and just send it to ordinance along with the draft of our language right now and whatever other documents we have. For example, I found uh, this, where is it? Come on, Gwen. I found this document from the summer. It's basically a linear progression of how we how we move through this process um, instead of just the all of the uh, legalese around it. Um, so we could just decide that we're fine with this as it is and then give it to ordinance. I mean, we've done a lot of the legwork, or we can send out the letter as EDIC and also move this on to ordinance. Do we do we want to send the letter? before we know the position of ordinance? I think from our in informational conversation with ordinance a month ago, they are very interested and they would like to see what we've got so far. They think that this is a good idea. I guess from, I was the, thinking, from the basics that we gave them. Yeah, I was just thinking, Gwen, that I would hate to have this letter go out to several dozen business owners and then not have this ordinance pass. Yeah. Oh, would, will you admit, uh, Cassie? Please. I have done. Okay, thanks. Hi. All right, thank you. Here you are. I'm fucking in. Okay. It's okay. I'm removing your Wait. phone. Oh, man. All right, you're echoing too much. Hang up. Oh, man. Just say, hey, Are you doing it yet? I'm trying really hard. Yep. So I think what the letter that we that was drafted said that we were considering and working on. So even if the ordinance didn't go through, I think it would be okay to send that. And I think that we're only sending it out to what, like eight people, is that correct? Just the people we've identified as storefront owners that have vacancies, was that correct? What I did we write into our minutes last time, Josh? I thought we were gonna send it out to everyone. Everyone, about everyone oh. Chris, because yeah. someone may end up with an empty storefront down okay. the road. Okay, so I, I'm sorry that I wasn't at last meeting. When you say everyone, do you mean every commercial address? Yeah. All the yeah, all the commercial addresses on cottage, union, and okay. that block on Maine. Got it. I, I, I guess just to clarify, Chris, commercial address, there could be the same owner of multiple addresses. So yes. it's all of the all of the owners in that district that Cassie just described. And Got I'm 80% of the way there in terms of um, compiling mailing labels. Thank you. Great. Oh, good job. Are you not freaking impressed? Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, Dogs okay. impressed, sorry. So um, Cassie, I don't know what you heard so far, but ordinance is interested in whatever we have. They would like, Salem would like to introduce this at their next meeting on the 17th. Um, so we're making a decision now, like, are we going to send out this letter as EDIC? Are we going to send this letter to them and they can do it? I, that seems unlikely because as representatives of city council, ultimately they have to have public hearings anyway. So it seems like a, a good thing for us to do this with the letter anyway, and just say this is under consideration or will be soon. Um, it's not, I, I don't, currently the letter is phrased 
as considering steps the city might take. Yep. Um, yep. I think, Gwen, based on what you said, where we are with the actual ordinance, um, I, I would think you could submit that to Salem along with this letter and say, this is where we're at to date. And that should be enough for them to chew on for seven months in meetings. <laughs> you mean like we did? Yeah. Um, so, okay. And we want to send this out, yeah. this letter. Okay. The, the third paragraph of this letter says, we would like to invite you to speak with us and share your experience regarding the challenges facing vacant property owners today. I'm not positive that that is true at this point. What are your thoughts? I think that that's still fair because even though we submitted over to the, the ordinance review committee, um, we, and particularly Cassie, knows this best. So if an owner wants to come to us with some problems, we certainly could be um, a, a more effective bridge between the owners and ordinance because we thought about no, this a lot true. more. And and to be honest, I if we had two people, I would my head would be blown off. I'd be so surprised. So, can I um, a quick point of order? You we were talking about um, a way that like an email address that people could send stuff to. Are we close to that? Because that would be a way we they wouldn't we they wouldn't have to wait until we had our next meeting when they come came to talk to us, or else yeah. barrage one of us a, a way outside of the meetings. Yep, I wrote to Lindsay Mailer about that as well. And it's not please hold. The answer is we have a new website which hosts a platform called, and this was. So just go, bear with me, called Notify Me that we can push information out on to those who've signed up. It would be great if EDIC was willing to use this and advocate for the public to sign up. That's regarding our conversation about newsletter listserv thing. Uh, looping in the mayor here for her thoughts, because I know there have been discussions about why creating emails for board slash committees can often be problematic. Mayor's response. Without a dedicated communication staff, I am concerned with all of the things that could possibly go wrong. So EDIC having its own email address, very unlikely. That said, um, at least I didn't look this part up at the time. Departments, what are we listed as? Um, the website boards and committees, A to E. Are we on there as, oh, we're just on there as the DIC. That seems like a decision to make the E stand for East Hampton and not economic. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're only listed there as human beings, not as human beings who have email addresses. So I don't have a solution to that right now. I think the way that we would invite people to deliver their feedback to us is to invite them to an EDIC meeting. Yeah. Okay. Well, so I guess we'll keep it that way. And then, then we should say uh, that we meet the third Tuesday of every month, and you can find more, more about us on the website, something like that. Yeah. I had one other quick edit with the letter. Yeah. Uh, and even though I agree with this 100%, I think having the word blighted in the first sentence might make some people defensive, even though I think it's correct, it's accurate, but I think we want to start out on a, on a, on a good foot. <laughs> if okay. we have a reduction of vacant properties within the city. All right, of, so here's what we're going to do. Yeah, I agree, Josh. Just get rid of Andor Blighted. Yeah. All right, I'll share my screen with you. We're going to edit it in the same space. I'm going to zoom in on it so nobody's struggling to read. Okay, share screen. Yeah. How's that? Can we read? Does it need Oh, that's bigger? great, Quinn. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Taking properties. 
EDIC yeah. is considering steps the city of East Hampton might take to assist in the reduction of vacant properties within the city. Yeah. One space after a period. Vacant commercial and industrial properties can degrade the vitality of local business districts, increase risks of fire damage, vandalism, and unlawful entry, and can give rise to other public health and safety hazards. How do you feel about that? Love it. It's fine. Yeah. Supporting welfare, economic vitality of East Hampton residents, protecting property values, safeguarding against economic blight. The city is considering new requirements for property owners to register and properly maintain vacant commercial and industrial properties. Um, this requirement may include an annual registration fee and or orderly building inspections. Are we okay with the word blight in there, Josh? I think so, because okay. you know, there we're not, we're just saying this is what can happen when things are in. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's good to have it there. Um, is it worth saying here that like part of this is about incentivizing people to activate spaces and or rent them? I, I think that's kind of a foregone conclusion. I mean, it would be good, but we want to keep this as simple as possible. Okay. I and mean, I think we can address that even later. You know, so, okay. So the ADIC would like to invite you to speak with us and share your experience regarding the challenges facing vacant property owners today. It's our hope that through this dialogue, EDIC may better advocate for and assist local property owners struggling to fill vacant commercial and industrial properties. Oh, there we go. In ways which are equitable and conducive to the economic growth and prosperity of our city. So, Gwen, okay. I, I have a point or an idea. Um, okay. Instead of starting that paragraph, we would invite you to speak with us. I would, have, I would say, if you have questions or concerns, please come and share them at our next meeting. Um, I mean, this way we're doing our diligent, we're doing our steps just to put the word out there, and not. That's nice, Grim. Yeah. We don't need all of this. Invites you to share them. I want to take the word. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, share them at our next meeting or something like that. And, uh, at, at one of our meetings, I guess. It could be any meeting, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. At one of our meetings, um, reg at one of our regularly scheduled meetings on the third Tuesday of the month. <laughs> there you go. And then I don't know, Gwen, if we'd have to tell, I don't know where John Q. Public gets the agenda. Yeah, I can put the link in there. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I just closed it. Did we lose Chris? I guess we did for a bit. No, he's, he's no I, just, I just turned the video off so you don't have to okay. see me eating. Okay. Let's see. So upcoming, it's on the city calendar. How do you find agendas now? Oh man, I like the website, but now I don't know where anything is. Business, apartments. Anyway, all right, fine, whatever. I'll just put it in here. Insert link to agendas. Um, okay. So Gwen, that sentence from there on, it is our hope. Mm. Uh, the only thing that concerned me slightly about that sentence was when we say EDIC may better advocate for and assist property owners struggling to fill vacant commercial properties. I'm not sure how we're going to do that if they ask us. So, okay, so help me. Mm. Help me, help me, um, help me rent my property. Yeah, we're opening ourselves up for a lot of help. Help me find a tenant. I yeah. I think maybe what Paul was trying to get at there, and I'm only guessing, is um, maybe giving them maybe giving them an outlet to explain to us why their property is vacant so long, and what special circumstances they might want to throw themselves at the mercy of the court. Yeah, I I, I agree. I think saying that we're going to assist them is opening up a big can of worms. Okay. I Would like you propose that. to just end it with we meet every Thursday, every third Thursday, every third Tuesday or whatever? And just delete this? I'm fine with it. Is there hope that through this dialogue? Yeah. 
I mean, you, you could maybe if you just took out and assist local property owners struggling. Yeah. Yeah, but again, Josh, it's still saying better advocate for filling vacant commercial industrial properties. Well, advocating, that just means we're going to speak up about it. But we're not. Yeah, we're not going to assist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, if, if someone comes to us with a problem that we don't have the answer for, that's good. Because then we'll find the answer for it and we can fix it, maybe. Yeah. And I think Chris and... I think I think if if they have a reason, if they have a excuse as to, that they want to present, they're going to do it anyway, whether we state it here or not. Yeah. And that's going to be with the building department anyway, not with us, I would think. Okay. So that's our letter. How do we sign this? Is this coming from the EDIC? Is this coming from me as chair? Who is this coming from? I would just put EDIC. I wouldn't put an individual name out there. Yeah. The fine folks at the EDIC. Your your most humble servants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what do you think if we get, like, I can easily put... Uh, I do feel like we need something that indicates this truly is like associated with East Hampton. Um, you, you could put the mailing address, and, and can we change to your local business owner to property owner? Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. um, but you could totally put the um, Payson Avenue address, you know, EDIC 50 Payson Ave, blah, blah, blah. And you could put the seal up there that's on our minutes, can't you? Gwen. Gwen, haven't we done letters that we had to do letters of recommendation for certain projects for Jeff? I could have. Yeah, sworn. but we usually put the planning department um, thing on there, don't we? Maybe, maybe we don't. Maybe I thought we had our the... own logo or letterhead that we used when we did those kinds of um, support letters of support. Uh, Can you find an old one? Yeah, I'm looking. Your little faces are in my way. Okay. okay. There we go. There's one. Oh, yeah. It just has the East Hampton Mass seal on it. And the name of our commission bold and in the upper right. So I could just take that out. Yeah. Use that. Yeah. Okay. And on the... Um, to... On the dear, could we say dear business property owner? Oh, that's true. We don't want like a homeowner. Yeah. Or uh, do I? Should I keep this two line and say? Uh... Yeah, I would say have, have two business East Hampton business property owners. The date, and then we take out the dear. Yeah. I mean, they're not our boyfriends and girlfriends. Okay. I think owner doesn't need to be plural, Gwen. Yeah, true. And then the date, and then... I'm just going to say November 2021. Yeah. And the RE could just be proposed ordinance? Um... Proposed storefront ordinance? Yes, that'd be yeah, good. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so I'll add in the seal and our our title. And the link to the agenda. Yep. Then you yep. couple that with what you what's done on the ordinance, and that just all all can go off to Salem, I would think. Yeah. So do we want to print this out somewhere? And at or do we want to do we want to abdicate at this point and say, you figure it out? Or do we want to be responsible for getting this to people? I think we have to be responsible for sending it out. That, okay. that, that's a fair position. But um, if we're looking at, Cassie, how many people you've got so far? Cassie, you're muted. 
Um, let's see how many people I think we're looking about 40. Okay. So that's, that's not so bad. That's maybe 30 bucks. I'm I, mean, not, I have no problem buying stamps for this I'm, thing. I, I'm happy to contribute as well. Okay. Well, I think also we don't necessarily have to do that. I, I want to ask Lindsay about that as well. Like, I don't, I don't see a reason why we should have to, but. I think they could just be dropped off at 50 pieces and go out without going mail. Yeah, there you go. Could. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Good smart. I will help with your fulfillment. Okay. Well, I can ask Lindsay too, if there's, um, if we can just print 40 copies of this or whatever at city hall. Right. Yeah. I, I can do the printing and stuffing. I'll help with the stuffing. All right. That sounds like a scotch project. Absolutely. <laughs> sounds like Thanksgiving. <laughs> when back to your earlier question, though, I think if, if you're going to submit all this stuff to Salem electronically, I assume. Yeah. In your sort of cover note, you could simply say, um, you know, here's here's the stuff we've developed so far. Um, it's our intention to send this letter to approximately 40 property owners in the business district. So they know that that's on us, not on them. Can we, can I uh, say, instead of saying it's our intention, it says we will be, we are sending. Perfect. Just so it's, it's definite that we're doing it. Yep, perfect. Okay. And I would just suggest it somehow, either through Lindsay or whatever, that the mayor has a heads up before this goes out, because the calls could go into her department. I mean, her office. Yeah. Okay. Pen is running out. It's not cool. Um. All right. Cassie, how are we feeling about the ordinance language? <laughs> I have it. If you want me to display it, I haven't touched it in a while. I apologize, but it's pretty much there. Yeah. You know, we could probably sit and spend 12 meetings, you know, going through it and getting it perfect. That's uh, not, we're not elected to do that. I, it's exactly. I would say let the ordinance committee deal with it. Even if we okay. got a perfect Cassie, they're still going to spend 12 meetings on chewing it apart. And then after they and then after they spend their 12 meetings, the city solicitor is going to line it all up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I don't so. think it's worth our energy. And right. keep in mind, Chris, the final approval goes to the full council. Correct. Yes. So there's so, 12 more meetings. Cassie, you can forward me the most recent iteration so I don't mess it up, please. Yep. Um, all right. I'm going to say that... Uh, okay. All right. Oh, and they wanted to know that it was based on another city. They said yeah, that it was I think based that on be... existing regs, it was better. Yeah. So what I'm going to do when I send stuff to them, I think, is include our proposed language and this letter. Here's the presentation we got from Arlington in the first place. Here's the link to Arlington's bylaws online, et cetera. So you have a, a wide context for this. Um, are there other things we should send them, like the list of people we're going to send the letter to? I don't think keep the simple is better. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. All right. Uh, that's all right. Anything else that we need to discuss about this? Oh. This is exciting. I think it's nailed yeah. down. It's very yeah. exciting. Cassie, you you should motion. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm Is that kind of motion. <laughs> I'm really I'm really glad to hear, Gwen, that Salem's actually reaching out to you looking for it. Mm. Uh, which means Either they're very interested in it or they don't have enough to do right now. No, I think it's the former. <laughs> they're going to take it seriously. Everyone yeah. loves this. That's great. Yeah. Really? I have yet yeah. to, see, to talk to anyone who, do, who, who doesn't like it. Oh, cool. 
Yeah. yeah. I think the only two right. three people who don't like it are the people we're curing this to. You know? Right. <laughs> Mr. Gall and Mr. Moriarty. Yep. Originally. The wonderful thing about the assessor's database <clears throat> is we don't have to worry about tracking down people's lawyers. Their mailing address is right on the assessor's database. Oh, great. With, with a picture of the building so you know you're sending it to the right property. It's very cool. Oh, so good. Love that. All right. Um, so quick question. This is a real meeting, right? I've been taking minutes. They're not very extensive, but yeah, no, that's great. Thank you, Josh. I will send out the minute. We're all really here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yep. It was announced on the internet, etc. So people had an opportunity to be here if they wanted to be here. It's very abbreviated. So if anyone wants to add stuff to it, please let me know. I'll, I'll send it out anyway. Okay. All right. Um, in the absence of anything else to discuss, I think we have our decisions awesome. made for the day. Great. Anything else? No? We feel good. All right. All in favor of departing this meeting, holler aye. 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 Great. Boot. Go away. Have a beautiful evening. Thank, Thank you, Glenn. Thanks, Cassie. Congrats, Cassie. Oh, thanks, Chris. That's great. See you in two weeks, okay? Yeah. Bye.